Hey! I'm hanging out today at the beach along the Wirral in, oh gosh, where am I? Forgot the name of the place. Wallaby. Wallaby. Whatever. Point is, as a reference, I'm just across the river from Liverpool. You can see behind me some industry in the distance. That. La -la -la -la. But anyway, back there is Liverpool. You know, the home of the Beatles. So I'm really in this section in between the Mersey River and the Dee River. And you get all of this coastline uh, for this nice beach. And uh, it's low tide. You can probably see that there is nothing but mud around me because at this time you have to really run pretty far to get to the ocean. But this is one of the many, many things I love about the beach because you get to play in the tide pools. So right now I've been playing in the mud a little, finding different things. I found a ton of these shells, which um, there's some that are still connected, but they make this huge little, uh, huge little, you know what I mean, this little flute-like thing. And so I'm not sure what creature, what mollusk goes with this. But I've got that, and then I want to show you two more things. One, yeah, it's probably not a common thing to show off, but I gotta show you. Yes, there, there. You know what this is? A pile of poop. <laughs> I learned that these piles, uh, at least in Panama, these piles are the excrement from starfish. Though I found this out at a starfish beach. Pretty sure there's no starfish around here. Well, I could be wrong, but there's definitely no visible signs of starfish. So instead, I'm trying to figure out what is making this. And I'm playing science girl. What could it be? What could it be? <laughs> and the funny thing is, my husband and I were looking at this and saw a piece like move because it's gone through somebody's digestive system and to find that somebody takes some might take some quick digging some skill uh, talking to somebody that knows what they're doing but who needs that I'm just here to play <laughs> and watch the mud because it's goopy it's Gurgly, it's wet, it's awesome. But if you can, look, this is like the tiniest crab. And I can't tell if he's playing dead or if he is dead. But he's so small. I don't know if it's the type of crab or just he's just a baby or a miniature type. But whatever the case. I find it really cool. I'm not, you know, a huge scientist or biologist, but you know, you, you are never too old to play in the sand or play in the mud. Speaking of the mud, uh, yeah, my flip-flops got a little, a little muddy. You sink in here just a bit the more you hang out. So <laughs> I'm just gonna frolic around a little bit more and see what else there is to explore.